Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of the nearby nation, welcome back to another exciting episode of the DNS Tech Pack, in which I have no clue what we're doing, but we're going to figure that out. So, yes. We have this fixed now, and of course it's the most annoying thing ever when it comes down to sound, but everything else is better than ever. So, yes. We now have the rubber that we're going to need to approach the thing that we were going to approach the thing. That makes sense, right? <laughs> awesome. Uh, I do want to say that Brand Brady Moss says, how do you get everything to have an EMT value? I'm going to show you that right now so you have a clue on how that works. So let's see what copper has. Does copper have? Yeah, copper has 400, which is like not supposed to be that high. It's supposed to be about like 256. I think everything's set to 400 due to the configs that I have set. So what you do is you basically type. You're going to have to make a new config first off. So we're going to do EM. You can do either EM config or you can do EMCF, which is the same thing. And then you can do create config, and then you're going to have to type the config you want to create. So we're just going to do test for this, okay? So there we go, test, all right? Now, as well as what we need to do is we need to set an EMC value. Now, you can either set an EMC value for everything in your inventory, or you can set an uh, uh, EMC value for, or EV as what it's called I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it's EV. But uh, you can set it for just the current that you have. So you can do add current, and then we can set this to 256. So there you go, it's set. Now before it will actually lock into place, I go ahead and do save config, as well as reload. You don't have to put config at the end of that. And there you go. Now we should see that it has 256. If you're on a server and you are opt, you will be able to do this on the server, but you will notice that whenever you do this, the EV will say zero or whatever it was originally. It won't show, but it will work inside of the energy configs or condensers. As well as if you really, 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 really want to see it, all you have to do is log off and log back in. You don't need to exit Minecraft completely. You can just log out real quick and then log back in and you'll have everything need, needed to be. Oh, I know what we're going to do. We can make a Steve's Cart tree farm. We said we were going to do that, didn't we? Steve's Cart's tree farm. So we need to actually clear out an area for the Steve's Cart's tree farm. This is going to be a quite a big area. You know what? We'll do the Steve's Cart's tree farm up top. How's that? Oh, I don't know. We have all the geothermal stuff set up perfectly down here, though. Err. Err. Okay. We'll, we'll do it down here. We will do it down here. We're just going to keep going this way. All right, let me go ahead and get my big block breaker tool. So this might be an episode of like clearing stuff out, but I do want to do some comments. So make sure that you guys comment in the videos as well as hit the like button if you really do appreciate and like these episodes. It does help out a tremendous amount as well as it just makes me know that I'm doing this for something and not for nothing. So, the whole mongus is I'm the one who misses nearby's let's or am I the only one who misses nearby's let's plays on Technic 1.8.1? Wait, hold on. I am on a very... Ah, uh, okay. I never really did... There should be an episode 12. Okay, here we go. My bad. Sorry, guys. I'm on old comments. <laughs> Brown rocks is all you need to do is pump the sludge out of the MFR harvester. The, although I think it should, the harvester with the sludge in it doesn't really matter. Like, you can stay in there for all I care unless you want to use it. But I do think that they should add an ability to say, you know what, if this is in there, the machine doesn't go. So at least you have to pump it into somewhere. But then you could just go around that and be like, you know what, I don't want it anymore, so we're just going to pump it into a trash can. You know, so. It's got its good things and its bad things. So what I'm going to do, since we're, we want a tree farm from Steve's carts, is we're just going to make an elongated, like, pretty much, you know, back in the day when you did, like, the race car tracks? Uh, and you had like the little gun that you hit the pedal on or the lever on and your car would go around in a circle Yeah, that's pretty much what we're gonna do for the Steve's carts Is we're just gonna have a huge circle and we could probably set up multiple trees I think it works with multiple trees Not 100% sure but right now. We just need to set up the arena or the area where the carts are going to be putting the trees Okay, now we should be able to use this make it a little bit faster and easier it doesn't need to be as high as the other one. Actually, it probably does. It is a tree farm. Durr. Trying to uh, lessen the amount of time it's going to take to make this. D. Gray Soul Eater says they'd be cool to have you start doing stuff with other people again. I'm a fan of the new room. Just keep up the good work. Hmm. 
Yeah, I definitely want to do stuff with other people again, guys. Trust me. It will happen. I just got to find the right time zone, which we did pretty much. I have some people that I live stream with at night that would be willing to record with me. So, And it's at night, so it's definitely a perfect time for me to record. So stay tuned, and maybe you'll see some extra awesome content from those people. As well as if they do ever show up on my channel, make sure you follow them. They're all awesome streamers slash Twitch slash YouTubers is what I was going to say. I don't know why I was going with Twitch. Uh, we're going to need some sort of lighting. For right now, I'll just use this, I guess. Just for the looks. So keep clearing out this. Lone Wolf Daddy says, For 2,000 videos, you should make a video telling us that you will go on normal Minecraft servers like the time and stuff then people could get on while recording. I have a normal vanilla Minecraft server, guys. I don't know if you know that, but I do have one. And it should be up right now, too. Not sure if you guys know that. I'm guessing you probably don't, though. So the way that I think this works is... And if I remember it working, you know what? Let me go ahead and get some torches anyways. Uh, the trees will get placed on either side of the tracks. Is that the way I think it works? Could be wrong. It's been a while since I've made a Steve's Carts tree farm. Let me know down in the comment section below if I'm right or wrong on that. But yeah, I do believe they get placed on... That's iron. You know what? Let's just get torches so we know where they're at. Either side of the tree farm. So, And the way that works is they plant and then they harvest... I think you can even bone mill them if you want. I think there's a, a attachment for Steve's carts to bone mill as well. So, now you may ask, why make a separate system that you already made beforehand for different trees? You know, it's a, it's a simple question to ask. Like, why? Why do it? Well, it's because they have the option. Maybe one person doesn't like Steve's carts, or maybe one person doesn't like MFR, or doesn't have MFR. They have another option in mind to do the same effects and things. So, And this should be a big enough area after I clear this other side out for it. We just need to make it higher. Gotta make it go faster and high. Oh, useful DNS. How I hate and love you at the same time. Really, I do. It's nice to have those, but why doesn't it work in chunk breaking like this? Redstone works. It falls in the same way. I'll have to get with uh, the creator. You know who you are. Brandon462394 said, I miss it. Make me feel different knowing that you don't do that anymore. What are you talking about, Brandon? I'm confused. Hayes Gaming says, I can't watch your live streams because I have school. You always do them at midnight. I'm the only in seventh grade, so please can you change your schedule? <clears throat> I cannot change my schedule due to the fact that work is the main reason why that's set to that. It's not like I said, you know what? I want to make this in the middle of night so nobody can watch me. It's not how I appreciate... It's not how I wanted to figure it out. It's just something that I had to do due to the fact that I have this new schedule. So... At least I'm still doing it. I mean, you gotta give me that, right? Give me a little bit of props for at least still being there for you guys in the long run. I guess we should probably get rid of some of this stuff. I think all of it can go, actually. Clear out some inventory room. Juan Kang says, I love it so much I've finished the I haven't even finished the video yet. Nice. Or I And I have finished the video yet. I'm confused by that. Joe Smith says, might want to turn your tunnel bore on. You're out of diamonds. Can't you just put a teleport on the bore so you can teleport to it? It's not actually working right now. It's not working because when I logged off last, it was still going. And there's problems when you log off and it keeps going. So, yeah, unfortunately, I need to build a new one in order to keep it going. You got to love that. It's just a problem with, uh, I guess, the frames moving. So, but I think we're going to build a new one in the world that you can actually mine in, the mining world. We'll have to uh, make a dimension for mining. That way we can get a new one going. What do you guys think on that? There's a, actually a dimension now that you can mine in. It's called the mining world. 
It's pretty cool. It doesn't have mobs in it except for Thomcraft stuff, and it's always daytime. So yeah, there's a lot of pluses to that world compared to this world. Whoa. The Fallen 1616 says, I don't think the Dupin, the open blocks tanks are OP if you don't use the liquid. I have done a similar thing for decoration. I made the floor of my complex checkered pattern liquid. Water, water, lava, liquid XP. That makes sense. I mean, if you're just doing it for decoration. I kind of feel the same way. As I said in the episode, Jack Carroll says, Nearby, what happened? Please just do an adventure map or something. Please just do something, anything else. I'm confused. I'm totally confused by that. What happened? Anything. Just do something else. Anything. Stop. Line. <laughs> Jordan Rice says, great work nearby. Keep it up. And speaking of work, guys, it's like my fourth day today from work. So, you know, I think I'm, I'm liking it a lot. Let's just say that. A lot more than I worked at Walmart. And I worked at Walmart for seven years, and I hated every bit of it. So, you know, I guess that means a lot to that when I'm only in my fourth, fifth day. Fourth day. Tomorrow's my fifth. But, so yeah, what I basically do is I just answer tickets all day long. And the cool thing about it, and I think this cool, is the fact that you have new adventurous things to check and look up. And everything's, at least for now, everything is uh, new for me. So it's kind of like problem solving. And I'm kind of good at problem solving. Not 100% good, but kind of good. I guess you can say that. So, <laughs> yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. Core Jester, or Core Jester says, Nearby, I have to say... I respect you and what you've done with your channel. Your videos are the reason why I'm interested in Minecraft in the first place. I've been watching you since your videos on Divine RPG. That series started it all for me. Also, when I was watching episode 9 of your DNS and you asked why or what was your viewers' favorite mods, well, mine is Thomcraft. I probably spelled that wrong. With Darkcraft as close second. I really like... So, it's Dartcraft, not Darkcraft, but nice. But uh, also, uh, I mean, a lot of people like Thomcraft. I kind of... If you could trim up Thumbcraft and make it like a light version of Thumbcraft where you didn't have to do so much researching for stuff, I think maybe I would like it more. I think it's the research that throws me off of it more than anything. Like uh, I've told many in Silverus people that I've streamed with before, um, it's just like once you do it once, you kind of just want to cheat it in, especially if you start another world. Or there should be like a something like Terraria where it carries over because it's just one of those things that... Is this really using that and not that? I don't understand that. It's just one of those things that it, it takes so much time and it's kind of like pointless to just sit there and waste resources when you've already done it before. So if there's some kind of way that they could host like a server that could register you or something, I don't know how it would work, but uh, something that whenever you logged in it could say in Thomcraft, well this person's already learned all this stuff, so let's just go ahead and give him everything. That would be cool. I mean, that would be a new step in Minecraft, to be like Terraria Craft. Chubmaster5 says, hey, nearby gamer, on the at launcher, there is a uh, pack called Solitary Asylum. Warning, very time consuming. You should try to get a couple of people to play it with you. I have seen it. You know what? That would be really good to do on a server with people. You just gave me a great idea. It would be really great to do on a server with people and learn about solitary craft that math that comes with it you know what great idea what do you guys think on um, it's kind of like i already have a pack that i want to do when it gets released or i'm sorry a map that is kind of like the ftb challenge map but totally different so same thing that way i think that would be really cool if uh we did the solitary craft as well because I really like the challenge maps. I really like trying to figure out how to do stuff and get stuff in the appropriate way. It just seems like something that's going to be really fun. Arr. Come on. I really need to make an excavator. You know what? I'm going to leave it up to you guys. If you get over 150 likes on this video, the next thing that we do in the next video is going to be making an excavator. Because I know a lot of you are like, oh my gosh, this is taking too long. I could totally save the time if I made an excavator. So it almost sounds like an 
elevator or an ex, ex is it is it really called an ex I think it's called an excavator now I'm second guessing myself on my own term terminology there let's go ahead and get rid of this stuff one thing that at work that really gets me though is like I'm not used to having downtime at all because working with Walmart there's no downtime there's always something you can do and I'm not saying there's not always something you can do at my work because there might be something behind that I don't know or can't do right now but for simplistic tickets that I'm supposed to be taking care of it's kind of slow right now so I'm I'm not used to that whole like you said at your desk and you do stuff <laughs> so um, I don't know it, I'm not used to that at all I think I'm gonna get used to it but it's one of those things that he's like what do I do and I'm twiddling my fingers but anyways if you guys ever worked at a job like that before let me know down in the comment section below as well white cracker says no more grandpa nerves grow back why do you want to grandpa nerves actually showed my face on stream yesterday people were like oh, grow it back nearby grow it back but then I look like a bum what do you guys think room looks good I think this will be be enough won't it let's see how far we got up here <laughs> sorry about that guys I had somebody knocking on my door also, for anyone who lives in Oklahoma, be very careful. It is snowing outside. I know that doesn't sound like a be very careful type thing, but yeah. It is very bad road-wise. At least where I live. Right now. At least for the truck that I drive. <laughs> I was driving home, and actually we got to leave a little early today. And I was driving home, and... Um, well, my truck doesn't have very much traction because it doesn't have anything in the back of it. Because that's just how trucks are these days, you know. But because of that, <laughs> I was just like, oh, great. Just sitting there spinning my tires in places. Spinning my tires, light the fires. Is that what it is? I think that's what it's called. Daniel Keeper says, Yo, yes, nearby. This is amazingly OP. I'm the last person who would use the, that term. Yes, you would, Calder. You are the last person I would think of. Dark Horn says, hey, or hoeing says, hey, nearby, I was wondering if you remember when you were talking about shaving your beard, I said I would kick you like an abused puppy if you did. Well, I wouldn't. I am always anxious for your videos to come up and keep up the great work. Also, I suggest face cam. I don't know about that. Face cam for YouTube just seems like off to me. It really does. But I don't know. If there's enough call for it, maybe in the next video we'll do a like system for base cam. I don't think there's going to be enough, so I'm pretty sure we're going to stay without the face cam. Let's just take this wall out right here. You guys want to hear what I'm doing right now. I turned it down because of the stupid... Again, the tree farms. You hear them right now. tree farms they're just so annoying mm, yeah we're gonna have to do this oh my god shut up holu bagman says hey nearby the recipe for the tank produced two tanks so the EV value should be divided oh yeah I, I, did I divide it I oh yeah you're right I don't think I did it's okay I think it's kind of it's needed to be or I need to turn the precision down because right now I'm getting a hundred percent precision and I think I think really it should be at like at least 50 so you're not getting all the EV value back from something that you use that way you're not like you can change stuff into other stuff but it's gonna cost you that's kind of what I'm, it should be you know BC44200 says, Nearby I have a challenge. Find a power such that isn't lava or solar power based to power your base. Well, we've done that before. I've used uh, biofuel before. It's not the funnest thing to use. I can tell you that. Although there is mechanism that has solar panels and stuff that I've never used before as well as heat generators that I've never used before. So what do you think about that? 
Flippin981 says, Nearby, did you see my previous comment about going back in time when you are you going to release your first weekly startup video for the smaller channels? I don't know. I, I have like four submissions right now. I was expecting more. I was expecting a lot more submissions to do that. But, uh, you know, I'll give it another probably week. And then I'll fic pick. Fic? I'll fic. I'll pick out of the four that I do have to uh, be broadcast on the channel. Going back in time. <laughs> nice. You can do hashtags now in my, or in uh, YouTube. That's amazing. That is amazing. All right, so we're gonna get some stone. We already got the glass we want. Perfect, let's set this room up now. Got everything we're gonna need. In 30 w Frost says, I think for the 2000 video, you should make an animated Minecraft short video, or at least try. And I believe if you fall into the small, or a small tree, you can get blood as a liquid. Blood as a liquid, really? Eh, is that true? Please don't say that's true. That's crazy if that's true. Make a builder's wand? I don't know. Maybe I have one. I might have a builder's wand. Let's check to make sure. It never hurts to check, you know. Mr. DM Lucky says you shouldn't just make the tree room have a vaulted ceiling and brown rock is right. When harvesting gets full of sludge, it will stop working. I usually just use a void pipe. No, I don't have that problem. Unless there is a config that does that. I don't have that problem with the sludge. The config might be turned off. A lot of the stuff is turned off by default in the DNS pack just to make it easier because it is a pack that doesn't really care too much about the OP part of the mod pack. I don't know. It's up to you guys what you want to do though. Uh, let's see. Builder's wand. Nope. I don't have one. Do we have a div div divisional? We don't even have one of those. So we can't. Spencer Bartle says, two hours special for the two hour answer of your videos, anniversary of my videos. 2000 special. Two hours. Wow. Hmm. That'd be a long video. I remember back in the day when I did like two hour videos. They were awesomely amazing. I also had a lot more time back then too. <laughs> Max French is episode four, season one. I'm confused. Episode four, season one. So when we come back tomorrow, we'll start on the tree farm part of this. Because we pretty much got everything else that we're gonna need down here. Yes, it takes a while, but at least it's not just a building out in the middle of nowhere and it looks nice. And when you guys get the download, you'll more better appreciate the fact that you have a nice built room for this and it doesn't look ugly. Gosh, now I wish I had a... You're making me wish I had a builder's wand now. That's what you did. You just made me wish. okay now I'm missing stuff aren't I yep there's that all right I just wonder because it only needs like three in the middle for the tree farm so say let's just do this so we can look at it let's do four then okay so imagine the cart goes there the cart goes there Actually, you know what? We're going to need more more than that. So, cart goes there, cart goes there. It'll have one right there, and it'll have one right there. Let's go do some testing real quick. I want to get a sapling and see if I can place it and grow it. Alright, so if we place the sapling... Oh, we need dirt, don't we? If we 
we place a sapling there. Okay, we cannot grow it. What if we place a sapling there? We cannot grow it either. Is it the ceiling that's the problem? Hmm. Maybe go one more over. Yeah, I think it's the ceiling. I just put that ceiling in. Er. All right, guys. We're going to go ahead and end the episode here. I will finish this room, and it will be done by the next episode. And then we'll start on what we're actually going to be doing next episode. So you guys are awesome. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you really did like the video. And we will see you guys once again in the next video of the DNS Tech Pack. You guys are amazing. Bye, everyone.